Hi everyone, my name is Amanda and I am the Teen Services Librarian here at Herrick District Library. Welcome to my web series, Okayish Art with Amanda, where I scour the internet for different arts and crafts projects and, well, try to complete them. Uh, and I do have to be honest, I'm really not the greatest when it comes to art projects, so this is going to be interesting. At the end of every art project, I'll grade it on a scale of one to five Amandas. One Amanda being that one out of five Amandas can complete this. And five Amandas means, hey, if I can do this art project, so can you. This week's art project is dragon eggs. We're gonna take a styrofoam egg from this to this. Okay, so the first thing I did was Googled uh, DIY dragon eggs, and I found this website that was actually super helpful. Here it gives a list of all the supplies I needed, so let's get that together. Thumbtacks, check. Diaphoam egg, check. Nail polish, check. Clear nail polish. Also check. Tacky glue, check. And finally, a piece of cardboard to put all of my thumbtacks in. Okay, now that we've got all our sur- <gasps> That's gorgeous. All right, all right, moving on, moving on. We've got all our supplies, and so they put all of their thumbtacks in a styrofoam piece. I don't have a styrofoam piece, so that's why I'm using the cardboard. It looks like they got it close to the edge, so you can paint it really easily. Cool! All right, let's get started. So the first thing I did was added about 100 to 150 or so thumbtacks to two pieces of cardboard. Then from here, I painted each every thumbtack individually. I did do two coats of the nail polish on each of them. And then I added clear nail polish to each of the thumbtacks so that the nail polish underneath wouldn't chip. I let all of my thumbtacks dry overnight. And then it looks like it says our next step is to find the center of the bottom of our styrofoam egg, place a thumbtack there, and then start adding more thumbtacks and kind of an overlaps and do it in kind of a circular pattern. Yeah, I can do that. Let's make it work. Okay, I've got my egg and my thumbtacks. We'll take one out of the, there we go, out of the board, place it in the bottom middle. Eh, that looks pretty good. And then we're gonna go in a circular pattern around the thumbtacks. As you can see, maybe I'm getting a lot of little styrofoam pieces that are coming out of the egg. So just be forewarned about that. And then it was about here that I realized I'm not making a circular pattern. So I took everything out and I started over again, which is totally fine to do. Okay, find the middle of the bottom of the egg. There, there. yes. And let's start making our overlapping thumbtacks in a circular pattern. Let's see here. Oh yes, this is looking much better. Oh, we do that one. There we go. Perfect. Let's speed up this process a little bit, shall we? So it was about here I started to realize that I am going to run out of thumbtacks. So you know what that means? A new piece of cardboard, a new set of thumbtacks, 
adding them all to the cardboard piece. So I added around, I would say, 50 more or so thumbtacks to reach the end. So probably more a grand total of about 200 thumbtacks to cover this egg with. I did also do two coats of the nail polish to each thumbtack, but I will admit that I did not let it dry in between as long as I did with the first set. So probably more like a half an hour. And then after letting all my thumbtacks dry for another half an hour, I added them to finish off my egg. Ta-da! At the very end, the website directions said to get some glue. I have tacky glue here. Tacky glue is great because it dries well and it dries clear. So I removed the top of my egg <laughs> and added the tacky glue, which is sometimes really hard to get out. Come on, come on, there we go. And then added my final thumbtack to the top. Also, you can't really see it here, but there was like a small opening still there. So I went ahead and added a little more glue in and added a final thumbtack just to make sure all of the styrofoam was covered up. Plus, as I said before, tacky glue dries clear, so that means no glue will be seen afterwards. Yay! I did it! And that's it! Our dragon eggs are done! So this project actually wasn't too bad. I'm going to give it a solid 4 out of 5 Amandas. I definitely think that you two can do this one at home. Just might take a couple of retries here and there, but overall, yeah, it's a great fun project. <laughs> Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye. What am I gonna do with this thing now? <laughs>